Welcome. In this video, we'll learn to quickly create this Bram sound from scratch. In the process, we'll explore Biotech 3's new lightning fast workflows and uncover some of its new features. Let's jump in and take a look. First, navigate to the edit page. We'll choose the Spinal Saw sound source and increase the number of voices to three or four and detune them. Let's lower it by an octave. The unison module can be used to create a nice, wide stereo sound. We'll close filter 2 a little to silence the highs that we're not interested in. I don't want to make a percussive brum, so we'll modulate the filter to provide a soft attack. Let's first select a low-pass filter with a slope of 12 and listen to how the sweep sounds. Okay, sounding good. Let's now modulate it with envelope one. Set the attack to around a second and a half. We'll lower the sustain a little and then increase the release. Click the envelope one button. Now simply drag to modulate the cutoff amount to around 30 or 40%. This will work well. While we're still in assign mode, let's use the same envelope to modulate the distortion. A similar percentage of around 30 to 40% should do the trick. Let's switch this for a tube distortion, as I want something a little more aggressive. Perfect. Click the envelope one button, and we're now out of the assign view. We want a sound with a long decay. So click the envelope 3-4 tab and increase the amplitude release of envelope 4. This nice long decay is screaming out for a cool pitch down effect. So let's do it. To achieve this, enter assign mode again by clicking the envelope 4 button. Now assign the envelope to the pitch parameter of the common module. A semitone will be enough and remember to lower it another semitone so that it continues to maintain the correct tone. Let's activate oscillator two, add a sine wave and lower it two octaves. I love it, something deep, just what I was looking for. It's time to apply some effects. Let's enable the distortion module, set mix to 100%, and then click the magnifying glass button to expand the effect module view. Adding some soft distortion will cut those higher peaks. It's a bit like using a limiter, but with more character. We'll use effect slot four to add a generous amount of reverb. I'll choose the natural reverb as I love the way it sounds. Set size to around 80 and add at least six seconds of decay. Cut some bass via the low cut knob. Let's listen to it. Very moody. Let's now close the effect window. Finally, we'll make some assignments to the XY pad on the easy page. Click the sources one tab, and then click the zero one button to put the X axis in assign mode. We'll create a blend effect. Putting it a semitone above the general pitch should be enough. Click to get out of assign mode, and let's take a listen. Now let's put the y-axis in assign mode. We'll use this parameter to create a frequency modulation effect by making oscillator four modulate over two and three. Modulate the levels of four and three and set them to zero. Then turn them both on. The modulation works by modifying the signal path to algorithm three. This is done in the common panel. Let's take a listen.
perfect. We can now tweak both the X, Y parameters from the easy page simultaneously. And here we have our finished sound. Easy, right? Thanks for watching.